Fourth grade, this is our first two note page lesson of module four. It's module four, lesson two, and today we are going to be working with angles. Take a moment to label your table of contents, pause this video if you need to, and then we're gonna get started. Our objective is that I can identify and draw angles that are greater than, less than, or equal to right angles. Right angles is going to be a really important concept for us to know. Once we know what right angles look like, we can really get a better idea of what an acute or an obtuse angle looks like. To help us understand a right angle, we're gonna use the tool of a note card today. Because on a note card, we have four right angles. One, two, three, four. Right angles are an angle that have a perfect square corner. We call it a square corner because we can line it up with the corner of a square and it fits perfectly. I'm going to use this note card to draw my right angle. Place your note card in the box labeled drawing and line it up so you have your corner with a little bit of empty space below and a little bit of empty space on the side. We're gonna trace the corner of our card down side, like so. Remember that we label angles with points. So let's say that this is two rays meeting at point B. A, B, C. Right angles have that perfect square corner, so we even have a very specific symbol that we use to mark that angle space. You might remember that yesterday when we marked an angle, we used like a curved circle. When we have a right angle that's a perfect square corner, we show it by marking it with a square, like this. Other angles use a curve, but when it's a right angle, we use a square. Once we know how to identify a right angle, now we can find acute angles and obtuse angles. Acute angles are so acute. They're exactly what they sound like. They are smaller than a right angle. Let's draw an example of one right now. I'm gonna use my straight edge note card to draw one line, and I'll make it a full blown line, one that extends on in both sides. A, B. To make this an acute angle, when we connect it with point A, we need the other line to go smaller than our square corner. We can't draw a line that goes up or past this square corner. We have to make it come in smaller. So I'm gonna draw my line maybe right here. And I'll make it a line segment to end at that end point. So if an acute angle is one that's smaller than a square corner, a right angle, an obtuse angle is one that's larger than a right angle. Again, I'm going to use my straight edge tool to build this angle. I'll start with a line segment. Let's call this line segment CD. When I connected to build my angle, I need it to be larger than that square corner right angle. That means that my next line has to extend past this area. So I'm going to draw another line. In fact, I'll make it a ray going far back in that direction. And I'll label this ray with point B. 
because both my acute and obtuse angle don't have a perfect square corner, we label the space on the inside of this angle a little differently. Remember when we were able to line up our note card into the corner of the right angle, we marked it with a square corner. With this angle, because we can't form a perfect square corner, we won't label it with a square. Instead, we're going to use a semicircle, part of a circle's curve, to label that angle. Before we step away from this page, remember that we have a very specific way that we label our angles. So let's name these angles here. All three angles, even though they're different, will still start with a label of a crocodile mouth. Then we mark the three letters in order. We go from one end to the next. We can either go A, B, C, or C, B, A, as long as B is our center point, since it's our shared end point. Let's call this A, B, C. Another crocodile mouth label. Our letters are a little different in order this time. Remember, we begin on one end to the other with the shared endpoint in the center. We can call this C A B or B A C. I'll call this C A B. One last time, draw your crocodile mouth for your label. We could call this B C D or D C B as long as C is our center letter since it's our shared endpoint. I'll call it D, C, B. Now that you know the three different types of angles, can you recognize them in drawings? Let's see. Let's look at these three different angles on the note page in front of you. Identify the following angles using your new vocabulary words. Right, acute, obtuse. Now they wanted to make it a little bit trickier for you, so you're going to notice that none of these are labeled with square corners. If one of them were labeled with square corners, we could very easily take a look at it and say, oh, that's our right angle. But since they're all labeled with semicircles, we're going to have to use other tools, like our note card with our square corner built into it. If we can line up our square corner to an angle and it lines up perfectly, we know that that's a right angle. If the angle is smaller than a square corner, it's acute, and if it's larger than a square corner, it would be obtuse. So let's start by locating that right angle. I'm going to take my square corner and place it in the center of the angles until I find the angle that I think fits it best. And it looks like it's this angle right here. I can tell because both lines hug the edge of my note card. This must be my right angle since it has a perfect square corner. This angle is a right angle because it is either a right angle with a square corner, greater than a right angle, or less than a right angle. Since we found the exact right angle, we're going to label it and check mark saying we found our square corner. Now that we've located our right angle, it's a little easier for us to figure out which one is our smaller acute and which one is our obtuse. I'm sure your eyeballs are going straight to this angle, noticing that it's much more closed than our right angle, which means you're probably making an inference that it's acute. So let's use our note card to confirm that. When I line it up to my note card, I notice that I can't even see the line because it cuts into my note card. That's how small this angle is. This angle is acute because it is a right angle with a square corner. Nope. Greater than a right angle. Nope. Less than a right angle. So that means our final angle must be obtuse. Let's confirm that with our straight edge. If I line up my note card to one of the lines, I notice that the other line extends way far past the note card. This angle is obtuse 
I know this because it's a right angle with a square corner. Nope, it's much larger than that. Greater than a right angle. Yep, that's us. So now it's your turn to draw and identify different types of angles on your problem set. Good luck.